So a lot of people have been asking me, Lance, how can Target uh, have all that information about me? Right when I swipe the information, I don't sign up for it on the website or anything like that. How do they do it from a POS point of sale? Well, it's very simple with uh, just a magnetic strip card I have hooked up via USB. Um, let's say I swiped my credit card, right? And I opened Notepad, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we have Notepad open, right? And we just have a simple uh, magnetic swiper. And we have a simple Visa card, right? Uh, it's Visa, business, right? Let's see what kind of security there is. So we take this little bad guy. And we're gonna swipe it. Oops, wrong way. Boom. Now, all that data could be saved. Now, I can make a small program uh, that could listen for it. Um, so anytime there's a transaction or rather swipe on that uh, port rather, um, or just have some kind of uh, uh, remote access to the machine, or if I worked there, I would just have something uh, added on to something like this. Now, w what do you mean by that, right? Well, a lot of times at the end, sometimes uh, at, uh, you could maybe see it on ATM machines, or but really gas stations, if you're not very careful, you can add a magnetic strip card thing onto here and use something really simple uh, to transmit that data. Um, and you could just add solar somewhere. Someone's not really gonna think twice where you run a wire up top or something. Most of those people in the gas station don't care to be there, and by the time they clean, they're probably not even thinking about it. They don't even wanna be there, right? Um, but if you get a real quick, uh, good look inside, it's so teeny, uh, the strip card, it, it, where it actually reads. It's really about that big. So if I add in an extra thing right onto the side of this, nobody's going to think twice, right? Um, or if I maybe open this up and then added my little device in there and just sucked up the power off of this, um, could do it that way too. Now you might say, oh, those people who work there aren't that sophisticated. That could be true and false. It could be a fake identity, really. Uh, maybe real information about them, but what they're capable of uh, is a whole nother thing, right? So something this simple, and also if you look at the square uh, swiper, that thing is really teeny and it hooks into your phone jack, right? So imagine something like the size of square just added on this. So when you're swiping across, you're also swiping across in another reader. Um, how that reader sends information, you don't know. A lot of those point of sale machines are Linux based and they do do networking. So based off of that, uh, they could be sending that information anywhere. And a lot of times you could probably crack into their network uh, to get in, uh, well, to do whatever you want, really. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of how the whole uh, swiping of your information is. But let's go through this real quickly. Now, if you see in this section, you see 15 and 10. Flip that around. Now, that's my expiration on that card, right? And right in this area, um, you have basically, uh, well, let me go ahead and erase this. Right here where I have the X's uh, was my card uh, number. So as you see right here, um, I have basically the information of my card, right? Um, as you see here, there's two things to look on here. You see the expiration, right? How? See this 15 and 10, flip that around? That's my expiration. May not be on all cards, but uh, it, it's extremely likely, right? Um, also, if you go to the front here, see this 590? That's actually on the back of my card. That's a security code. So it's got my information security code, which I removed, uh, account, uh, which is the actual card number right there. And again, right here, 1510, that's my expiration as well. I'm not quite sure what this data is or the rest of this. Um, however, uh, that basically gives everything away about the uh, card that I was using. Anyways, I hope this kind of helps people understand.